Okay, so here we're saying if A is not equal to B, then fall into the loop or the if statement and do something. Now, most of us are familiar with the other relational operators, assuming we've gotten through second or third grade. We have the greater than, the less than, the greater than or equal to, and the less than or equal to operators. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. Um, they mean exactly what you think they mean. So I'm not going to go into a lot of gory details about them. But you know that they come in handy for things like if statements and other control structures. We'll summarize all these operators in a nifty little table for you near the end of the video. But first, there's one more type of operator we need to talk about. The logical operators. And the two logical operators you'll use mostly in the land of Arduino are the logical AND and the logical OR. And these are the two symbols, part of my poor typing, for AND. The logical AND is just two ampersands, and the logical OR is just two pipes right next to each other, okay? And you'll often find yourself using one or both in your projects. So to get an idea of how to use them, I'm going to quickly bust out some code. So let's first demonstrate the logical and, and oh, an extra point there that we don't want. Again, my bad typing strikes again. I guess I didn't hold the shift key down long enough. Let's fix that. And a couple things to notice. First, we declared two integers on one line, perfectly legal, legit. We just make sure we put a comma in there to separate them. And we're using the greater than or equal to relational operator with the logical and. So let's upload and compile and see what we get. Oh, and another, another mistake. So again, guys, don't beat yourself up for making mistakes like this because they happen. We forgot some curly braces. So let's make sure we have enough curly braces here where they should be. Okay, try again. Okay, let's see what our serial monitor says. I'm gonna clear the output. And it's gonna go through some stuff here. And it's telling us we can't get on the ride. Now, I'm making a lot of silly mistakes to, um, to digress a bit because I'm trying to talk to you guys, type, and write this code at the same time. As I mentioned before, that it gets kind of hard. But notice here that we set the height to 47 and the age to 7. So here we are one inch short. So both of these conditions have to be true to get on the ride, okay, or else. So with an and statement, both these conditions or all the conditions have to be true. So if I wanted three or four conditions, it doesn't matter. If I wanted, you know, height to be greater than 48, H to be greater than six, and shoe size to be greater than size four, I could put an unlimited amount of ands and ors. And we're going to do one with the or real quick, just demonstrate that. But yeah, I could string as many of these together as I want. Of course, if you're going to do too many of them, it can become unwieldy. So keep that in mind. Let's do another example using the logical OR operator. Okay, so let's take a look at this output. Okay, compiled, uploaded, that's a good sign. Didn't make any silly mistakes. Going through our first few examples here. And I should have used better spacing, but here we can see you can get on this ride. And you know what? Let's make it easier to read. How about that? I'm going to go ahead and add the ln to serial.print. 
so you guys can read it a little bit easier. And here we go. So we can get on a ride. And here we see our height and age are still the same. The only difference is if our height is four foot or greater or 48 inches or greater, or our age is six or greater, we can get on a ride. We only have to meet one of the two requirements, okay? So in the old code, here we had to meet both with the and statement. And here we just have to meet one or the other. And as I said, you can mix and match as many logical operators as you need. So if I wanted to do something like this, So in this case, all three conditions have to be met. A has to be logically equal to B, and B has to equal C, and C has to be greater than D. Then we go ahead and we take over the world. I can also write something like... So here you see I have stuff wrapped in parentheses, and of course... We learned earlier that anything in parentheses gets executed first. So here we check to make sure this is true. A has to be equal to B and B is less than C. Or, or if B is greater than D. So either this condition, this whole thing wrapped in parentheses has to be true or this one has to be true, this one's a little bit simpler, then we go ahead and launch our missiles. In cases like this, it's probably a good idea to use parentheses so you could follow your own code, and so the result is what you expect, because logical operators and comparison operators also have a precedence. So I may want to wrap parentheses around as I did here, instead of just writing something like this and not using parentheses. This is confusing and depending on the president's things may or may not work out as you want. We'd hate to launch missiles by mistake. Uh, that just wouldn't be good. But if we use the parentheses, then we get the things evaluated we want to get first. And here we evaluate our AND statement before the OR statement. So now I hope you see that there's more than meets the eye to arithmetic and logic in Arduino. And I will see you guys in the next lesson. Meanwhile, go ahead and try some stuff. Play around with multiplication, division, and logical ANDs and ORs. And all the stuff you thought you knew about, you may be surprised. I'll see you soon.